This has been a crazy week. Let's talk about it. Quick story time. First, I want to say God is amazing, and I'm forever appreciative to be a vessel. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. I did a series over the last week when I went to eight different restaurants trying to find a struggling restaurant that me and Mr. Beast can help turn into an unstruggling restaurant. Altogether, for all of the food in this series, I spent $973.86. While yes, there was one restaurant crowned the winner at the end, I personally think everybody involved won. Today, I got in contact with all of those restaurants. And now, we're going to do an update. First, we're going to start with Mr. Gary. He wasn't officially a part of the series because he got a seafood truck and all I could eat there was the burger. So I didn't think it would be fair to put him against restaurants where I was trying seven or eight different items. With that being said, Mr. Gary is still a winner. All of his testimony is directly from the restaurants, summarized in my own words. Mr. Gary went from making $50 to $100 a day to making over $50,000 in the last three days. I went back to stuff my turkey today. Every booth in that restaurant was filled. The owner of Aroma Latin Cocina sent me this message the other day. I called him today and he told me before the first review, they was eight months behind on taxes. Now, they have a waiting list on the weekend. Hancho's Burgers and Fried Chicken posted this video about 12 hours after I went there. This is what we got going on right now. I've had so many customers from out of state, guys. Out of state, drove here just to try the food because Keith said it's bomb. I went today to say hi to Alex, which is the 21 year old kid who owns the place. He's super dope. His whole family was there. His mom, his brother, his girlfriend. I met his mama and she was super nice. They told me the amount of burgers they sold yesterday is the amount they usually sell in eight days. Me, Ma's Gumbo did not answer the phone, so I'm not able to provide an update. But I did see a video on YouTube of a creator who went there and said the food was delicious. I went to Waffle Brothers yesterday. I tried to call, but there's already closed. But I heard today they were slammed. Four Corners Kitchen, which is the Filipino food truck I went to, was slammed. They was doing so well that one of the owners of Four Kitchens called his other food truck buddies. He was like, hey, let's get together and be in the same parking lot so we can use this opportunity so we can all make money. I love that. This is unrelated to the series. But while I was in New York on a business trip, I went to cut some slices. The owner came out, gave me a slice of pizza. I did a review on the spot. That video got almost 4 million views. I then posted a review on my page. And ever since then, they've been out the door. They was already out the door when I went. But apparently, they've been slammed. Since Keith Lee came to freaking New York and did the pizza review on my pizza spot, these are cars lined up all the way. These are people standing outside waiting to go and cut some slices for the oxtail pizza. God is amazing. I'm going to take this time to control my narrative. I'm not a celebrity. I'm not pushed by a huge machine. It's me, God, my wife, my sister, my family. I now have a lawyer and an agent too, but that's it. I want to be very clear and concise and say these restaurants don't owe me anything. All of these reviews were free of charge and I pay for my own food. God is using me as a vessel to help these restaurants who have good food and good customer service, but not the best marketing. I do understand. Now I have a platform I'm forever grateful for. But people look at me and they see dollar signs. I pray a lot and God will keep me safe from all evils. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I mean that from the core. I appreciate everything that's happening for me and my family. But I will remain the same. My values, what I believe in, what I stand on, ain't never going to change. I'm going to go to the places that I feel comfortable in. And you are not going to make me feel bad for not going to the places I don't feel comfortable in. And I won't explain myself. I'm just not going to show up. I'm an introverted family man who likes to eat food and I pray a lot. I say all of that to say, thank you. The winner of this series is Aloha Mamacita. Even though, again, I think everybody won. I just appreciate everybody who was involved and I appreciate y'all. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. I will see y'all in North Carolina. Mr. Beast, I'm coming. <laughs>